Okay, so this is gonna be just a video of me tearing apart this transmission that I pulled out of a 2014 Mitsubishi Mirage and it had about 290,000 kilometers. I can't remember, so it's within a few thousand of that, I believe. And it was still working okay. The only problem I really had with this one myself was that uh, on the highway it would surge. And it was giving the previous owner some problems, throwing some trouble codes. And it almost left him stranded a couple times, so it just wasn't trustworthy. So I decided to replace it. I'm going to see if I can just take off all these bolts around here and pull the clutches out from the back side. I'll see what happens. Whoops, I think I forgot a bolt. Oh no, maybe that, uh, maybe that doesn't hold it in. Oh, it's coming. I've never taken it apart this way before. Yeah, so the other way you could take this apart is to just remove the cover. If you take those last, those two bolts where the yellow arrows are, if you take those out, you can remove just the outer cover and it'll leave the two clutches in place. So, there you go. Ooh, that sounds a little gritty. I don't know, maybe that's just the belt. Lots of dust from uh, just tearing it out of there. Yeah, and some really light uh, wear marks in here. Yeah, I can kind of just feel the really, really light ridges there. So yeah, not much to it. Here you can see the belt. It's a steel belt, not a rubber one, obviously. Let's pull the filter off here. This is just a metal screen filter in here. That's three 10 mil bolts that pulled the filter in, and then uh, it's got an O ring in it. This should come with it when you buy a new one. Oh, there we go. Just gonna dump this into that. So, to get the valve body out of here, here's your shift rod. When you, uh, I can find it. Move your shifter, that moves that rod and the valve body. That must be 14. All right. So I will undo that. Yeah, so once you get that rod out of the way there, all, all you have to do is remove all the bolts that have uh, a number seven stamped on the head of them. And then you gotta unplug that connector right there, that little white one. You just push, well, the way it's positioned now, push up on that tab to get it unplugged there. 
as you'll see in a second here with the arrow there. Hey, okay, well, there's a little bit of a better view. Okay, all three of them say NH, use three, and this one says NL. Okay, so my air compressor kicked in right about now and you can't hear anything, so. All I did was remove all the remaining bolts and there's two nut and bolts on each end that uh, have to come out here, so. Yeah, so I got all the bolts out and then I'm trying to remember here which way this is supposed to come apart and uh, well, only, like which side has to be facing up when you take it apart because there's a couple check balls and a bunch of other stuff that can come apart and uh, flip it the other way if you take yours apart because I did it the wrong way here. I've done it before and I couldn't remember which is <laughs> which way. So the solenoid should be facing down and uh, does that make sense there? Because there's two check balls that rolled away and, and uh, all the little filters are poking up. But yeah, might help someone there, I guess. So. Yeah, so don't take it apart that way. There was two check balls here. I don't know where the other one went. This one, I believe, went uh, there. Or maybe it didn't. I don't know. But it looks like there's five of these little filters. And there's the other check ball. Yeah, so... <laughs> You're gonna. So, you are gonna take uh, take one of these apart. Do it this way. Take it apart and lift this part off. I'll have to use this as a future reference, but uh, I guess I should have left back. Oh well. But yeah, here are these little screen filters. This little really fine, uh, fine mesh. And I don't see anything in them. I want to see. But there is some um, pretty fine, uh, like this is really gray. Actually, like really, really gray. So. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the good stuff. I don't know, like I said, I, I'm not a transmission. So, let's just get those unplugged. Oh, that one's locked in place, this one. Yeah, well, that's what that looks like. Okay, that pin just fell out of a hole. And there's another one in this hole here. A little retaining pin, like a roll, no, not roll pin, but that should. Okay. Yeah, so this video ended up being a lot longer than I expected it to be. So I guess I'll stop it here and I'll make another one of uh, splitting the case house open, taking a look inside there. As well, I'll add some pictures and talk a little about a lot of the failures I see in these things and uh, go from there. So thanks for watching.